being 52.6% of the vote. Mbaiwa Wilbed Archibald NPC 53,517 constituting 1.2% of the vote. Muzorewa Gwinyai Henry, the UANC, 7,053 constituting 0.2% of the vote. Monzora Douglas Togarase, MDCT, 28,883 constituting 0.6% of the vote. Val Valerio Elizabeth Isabel, UZA, 6,989, constituting 0.2% of the vote. Wilson Harry Peter, DOP, 6,743, constituting 0.2% of the vote. The total votes cast were 4,561,221. Total valid votes cast were 4,468,668. Total votes rejected, 92,553. Our total voter population was 6,000,000. 623,511. The voter turnout was 68.9%. Now, therefore, I, Priscilla Makanyara Chigumba, the chairperson of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, in terms of section 110, subsection 3, do hereby declare that Munangagwa Emerson Dambuzo of ZANU PF Party has received 2,350,711 votes out of 4,468,730 valid votes cast, which are more than half the number of valid votes cast in the presidential election. Therefore, Nangagwa Emerson Dambuzo of ZANU PF Party is declared duly elected President of the Republic of Zimbabwe with effect from 26 August 2023. Well, that was Justice Chigumba there uh, announcing the results and that was the night when the nation and the world at large knew that uh, President Emerson Munangagwa was going to be getting a second bite of the cherry. Uh, we're going to continue with those uh, flashbacks, but right now we're just going to cross over uh, to show you some live images of what's happening at the National Sports Stadium uh, in a couple of seconds. Now our team is just working on that transition, but I can tell you that it's really packed. We saw the judges coming in earlier and a number of the top high-ranking delegates who are uh, supposed to grace that event, a number of uh, heads of state and government of African countries also started arriving at the Robo Gabriel Mugabe International Airport uh, just a few hours ago and they are uh, still trickling in. Uh, the event uh, program was scheduled to start at 9.30 a.m. We saw members of the uniform forces going about their drills there. Uh, there has been an array of entertainment that's lined up uh, with uh, top acts such as Ja Preza set to perform as well as, uh, there you go, uh, that's, those are images of uh, a scene from the National Sports Stadium. Uh, the usual colorful, uh, vibrant, energetic ladies, uh, ZANU PF uh, support uh, is there. Uh, you're seeing Prophet Magaya is walking in into the stadium uh, is a part of the delegates who are coming through i just hope we can get another angle from our team there at the stadium but like i said i'm sure you'll be able to see shortly that a number of people have come through from the country's 10 provinces um so those are the activities that are taking place. 
we are told that uh, President Mnangagwa was yet to arrive. Uh, as soon as he arrives, uh, we will be getting on with the program of the day. This is an interesting day because a lot is at play. Uh, some are still speculating that there could be a contest on the election results from Triple C, uh, the Triple C camp led by advocate Nelson Chimisa. Uh, but we wait to find out what would have transpired. So talking about contests, after the casting of ballots, after the collation of results, after the announcement of results, the Triple C uh, members who had actually worn seats in parliament and updated their bios, like their spokesperson or former spokesperson, Fazai Maheri, actually changed their bios. They now no longer indicate that they are MPs of a certain constituency. This is because the Triple C says that this is a flawed election and they want a clean and fresh election. Here's what uh, Triple C Deputy Spokesperson Ostalos had to say uh, just last week when they held a press conference here in the capital. We have made it very clear that the entire election in this country was flawed. The entire election in this country was illegal. The entire election in this country, I'm not so sure which language should I use to put it unequivocally, that the election, the election in... We have made it very clear that the entire election in this country was flawed. The entire election in this country was illegal. The entire election in this country, I'm not so sure which language should I use to put it unequivocally, that the election, the election in this country was flawed in its entirety and in total, and Triple C has rejected the election, and the solution is holding a new, fresh, and proper election in this country. Triple C as a movement is very clear that the solution from this crisis is a process that is scaffolded, guaranteed by SADC and the African Union that will lead us into a genuine, free, fair and proper election. Well, that was the Triple C position as of last week. They were stating that uh, they view this election as a fluid process and they were raising a lot of issues and this led to a lot of speculation to say, are they going to go to the courts? Because the constitution and the laws of the land allow any party that feels aggrieved to contest the result of the presidential uh, race in seven days' time. Uh, this is still valid till today. This is the seventh day because we could have seen them uh, contesting the results on Saturday, but uh, based on the judgment that was made by Chief Justice Malaba, uh, when the Triple C, then MDCT, or MDC Alliance, rather, uh, in 2018 contested the results, uh, Chief Justice Malaba indicated that uh, any constitutional business that needs to be, that falls on a Saturday or Sunday, can be then pushed forward onto another day. So, we're not sure how things will unfold, but there was a lot of expectation uh, on Saturday that there will be something that would happen. There was communication, not officially, uh, but from within sources close to uh, the leadership of the Triple C, that things were going to be happening on Saturday. That was the filing of uh, those application papers to the courts uh, of uh, challenging the, 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 the outcome, but that did not happen. And our teams are on the ground. They're watching everything that's happening at the Constitutional Court. They are keeping their eyes and ears open, uh, watching if there will be any activity there. We're still getting some live images of the delegates uh, coming through. Now back to the Triple C issue. They are, they are still having some few more hours to challenge if they want to challenge. Uh, but as you can see, the, uh, on the other hand, if they don't challenge, the president will get a second term in office. Now, here is what uh, the president had to say uh, a day after the announcement of the results by Justice Chigumba. 
There are no winners or losers, but one united people of Zimbabwe. Thus far, we have shamed our detractors who wish to see us divided and in harmony. We shall forever remain a united, peace-loving and resilient people from Zambezi to the Popo, plum tree to Mutare, proudly singing one national anthem and one national flag. May I pay tribute to all our churches for promoting peace and harmony. I equally take this opportunity to thank the various election observer missions who have been witnessing our electoral processes without bias. As the sovereign state, we continue to call on all our guests to respect our national institutions as they conclude their work. My dear fellow Zimbabweans, countrymen and women, in this post-election period that we are now entering, let us remain vigilant and jealously guard the prevailing peaceful and tranquil environment in our motherland. That which unites us is much greater than that which could ever divide us. I further call on us all to return to work with a greater sense of purpose towards increased production and productivity across all sectors. Well, that was the president addressing the nation a day after the announcement of the results. You do remember that the announcement of the results happened uh, late into the evening on Saturday, around 11.30. That's when we started to see uh, the commissioners coming through. The president had indicated that he wanted to address the nation a few hours uh, before the announcement of the results, but that uh, announcement was then cancelled on two occasions. Um, but we're getting some interesting news trickling in. We saw some images of the former first lady, there you go, Grace Mugabe and Bona Mugabe, her daughter, uh, in attendance of today's inauguration. Uh, we have not been seeing Grace Mugabe at national events uh, since uh, 2017 when her late husband and president uh, Robert Mugabe uh, resigned uh, from office as the leader of the nation and the government and the commander-in-chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces. There you have it. Those are the live images I was telling you earlier about. Uh, it's a packed stadium and the uniformed forces are ready. They have been ready for a couple of hours and uh, very soon we'll be getting uh, the action from the National Sports Stadium. You see the Minister of Information there with uh, Chinese delegation. Uh, those are some of the images that are coming through. Um, I'm just trying to see, that's the Minister of Housing there, uh, Minister Gary. Yes, that's Minister Gary there uh, with delegates there. I'm sure they're just waiting as the ushers are showing them their seats. Um, so it seems as if everything is going as planned. Uh, inauguration is going to be taking place in a few mm, hours or in a few minutes. The international delegates uh, keep trickling in. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to try to get our team on the ground to give us a live update of the feel in that space. Uh, that seems like uh, the Deputy Minister of Sport Art, uh, 
Deputy Minister Machakairi, better known as Teen Mac, um, vibrant in pushing the youth agenda there. He's been pushing the anti-drug campaign in different provinces in the country. Uh, so that's what's happening. The delegates keep coming through and we'll be keeping you updated with everything that's happening. We're going to be taking a short break now and when we come back, we're going to get to hear from our team on the ground. Have you heard of the hottest new television station in Zimbabwe, NRTV? Catch us on all social media platforms at NRTV. Yeah, yeah, we could say, maga complain at Vatango, but a pindiram game or Tisutana, Josh Murchajo. Another TV to the world, the brand new and hottest television station in Zimbabwe. Do it, Chapa Ita. Don't follow it. Follow us right now to the teaching and chitika from social media handles. Pass the paper on another TV, another TV. Goes over Nandi, goes over late. Hello there, it's your Lord King Russell coming to you from NRTV, the hottest television station in the nation, coming to you with amazing content. Follow us on our social media handles at NRTV. Hey, yo, what's up, what to do? Log on to your social media and check out NRTV. It's the newest station in town. The central business district has become jammed with traffic and crammed by vendors and that's contributed to a flight of corporates from the city. Now those tenants have been the traditional bread and butter of institutional commercial real estate developers. So how are they coping given the circumstances? And crucially, what do they see as the way forward to addressing the challenge? Welcome to The Focus. My name is Farai Mwakutuya. Join me as we delve deeper. sadness that we received uh, a phone call this morning informing us that um, one of our students What has gone on? Was there this call going on? Who was there? I don't know what's going on. 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 I do what is this? What is this? What is this? What is Mama says, I think it's a good thing. 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 I think it's a
Pimepa Mazamaniste, any temple with a tongue said compete. Uncas and Uncom do yam sansa or say sana, not on the look. Shame, Mother Zambi. Keba Villa Raku. Imagine a by Tata be Possemans. Welcome back to the live coverage of the inauguration at the National Sports Stadium. We are giving you live coverage. There you have uh, the president coming through. Uh, I'm sure they're just trying to get a good angle. We should be getting ambient sound uh, from the ground and to just give you a feel of what's happening. So 1104. We should be getting off with the program. There you have President Emerson Mnangagwa in the company of his wife, Uxilia Mnangagwa, uh, coming through with heavy security uh, to get inaugurated and get a second bite uh, to the cherry, a second uh, session, which he'll be getting after his inauguration today. This will be his last according to the constitution, because the new constitution now allows, they have Roderick there. We apologize for the bad sound there. We. We'll try to get that sorted out. All right. Well, we apologize for that uh, glitch in sound, but as you can see, the uh, President Emerson Mnanga has just arrived at the National Sports Stadium uh, in the company of his wife, uh, Uxilia Mnangagwa, and uh, I'm sure the program will be started in a few minutes from now. Uh, just going back to the court matters, uh, we got to chat with uh, an econ uh, a political analyst, uh, Mr. Dr. Chakanyuka, who had this to say about the prospects then of the Triple C to challenge the electoral uh, results. Is the fact that CCC is able to allow to accept results that were conducted by Zek, it means they don't have a problem with Zek per se or the manner in which it conducted election. Genuinely, genuinely, they believe that Zek did a good job. Zek was free and fair. That is why they were able to accept. Of course, they might have a problem, but they are trying to find a scapegoat or someone to blame so that they can have a justified case to take to court and you know you know because you know losing an election is not something that is easy not everyone can simply or easily accept a result you know especially after losing an election but is i well we've just posed there we're going to be going to the national sports stadium now because the national anthem has begun and the inauguration will then follow on afterwards We're still working on the sound from our team on the ground, but we should be able to get that sorted in a few minutes. Uh, we'll just keep those live visuals there so that you stay updated with what's happening. Allegation by the Triple C won't it damage the reputation of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission? We'll just continue with uh, the interview with uh, Dr. Chakanyuka explaining uh, what Triple C could have done or could still do uh, regards the challenging of the results there. The fact that CCC is able to allow.
results that were conducted by Zek. It means they don't have a problem with Zek per se or the manner in which it conducted election. Genuinely, genuinely, they believe that Zek did a good job. Zek was free and fair. That is why they were able to accept. Of course, they might have a problem, but they are trying to find a scapegoat or someone to blame so that they can have a justified case to take to court and, you know, you know, because, you know, losing an election is not something that is easy. Not everyone can simply or easily accept a result, you know, especially after losing an election. But as I've said, we have a process where they can simply go to court if they want to challenge certain elections. Are these allegations by the C won't it damage the reputation of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission? No, it doesn't. Why I'm saying it doesn't? Because as I've said, an election is about Zimbabweans. Election is a democratic process where the majority wins. Of course, we have the mi minority, you know, who always, as I've said, that sometimes when you lose an election, right, because they've made investment in this election and they were expecting to win, but then you lose. It's not everyone who is mature enough to simply accept the result and move forward. What I then actually want to encourage CCC to do at this time is say, go back to the drawing table. Look at areas where you could have went wrong and try to rectify and solve those particular problems. In the near election, perhaps you might actually be able to convince the people because you would have solved the problem. But the moment you continue to be in denial, you will fail to move forward. Doctor, I think you have come across the SADC report on these 2023 harmonized elections. Uh, what could be the implication of that report? The SADC report does not have any implications at all in terms of our results because we need to understand that observers are invited by the host government. So we had invited observers to come and operate. And observers have guidelines that guides how they are supposed to be operating. So we welcome observers because we invited them to come and observe our election. What they are supposed to do is to make an observation make recommendations. It's then up to us as Zimbabweans to look at those particular recommendations and see which ones we can take and which ones we will not take. But again, the SADC report raised a lot of discussions in the country because of the manner in which it was done. Because many people feel that SADC went beyond the limit of what an observer is supposed to be doing. Well, that was Dr. Chekanyuka just explaining some of the processes that could have been taken by the Triple C in the event that they would want to challenge. The Triple C had stated that they were taking a three pronged approach where they were going to be also uh, consulting uh, elders from the uh, SADC uh, team. And uh, the elders council from SADC actually came through into the country. They had the meeting. The, the meeting had nothing to do with the uh, SADC report. Uh, these elders were slated to come through to the country way before uh, the report was made. They were actually supposed to come earlier uh, based on a communique that was then released by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs there. Uh, but SADC had made that report that caused a lot of talk. We saw a lot of response from the ruling party, ZANU-PF, as well as the government uh, speaking through Minister Ziambi, Ziambi, the Minister of Justice, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs, uh, challenging some of the statements that were made by SADC, uh, chief amongst them especially from the Minister of Justice was the issue of the independence of the judiciary and a number of other issues that were raised by not only SADC but other observer missions that were making some suggestions, uh, issues to do with people from minority groupings, LGBTQI+. Uh, so that report and those reports rather caused a lot of talk and uh, that led to a lot of responses. We saw the SADC uh, team uh, then uh, writing a statement from Haberon Botswana where their base is 
indicating that what Dr. Nevis Mumba had actually uh, stated in his report was not a subjective position. It was actually the position of the entire team that had come through to observe the results. Uh, nonetheless, there were a number of meetings that were then held. We saw the acting minister of foreign affairs, uh, Professor Morwira, meeting with the uh, team from the European Union, the European Union, the Commonwealth, uh, then also had a meeting with President Munangagwa. Um, so there's been a lot of uh, talking points during this election period before we had a lot of litigation issues at the courts on the day of elections like we stated earlier we saw the delays in the delivery of ballots especially local authorities in Blawa and Harare after uh, we saw Triple C rejecting the results we saw the drama of the Sadak report we saw the meetings that were held as uh, government was setting the record straight there to say observers come to observe and that's their main mandate. I think our technical team will be uh, ready with the audio and the proceedings from uh, the National Sports Stadium after this break. We'll be giving you all the action from the National Sports Stadium. This is Inauguration Day. Have you heard of the hottest new television station in Zimbabwe, NRTV? Catch us on all social media platforms at NRTV. Yeah, we have to say, I'm going to complain at the time, but I'm going to play game. What is it? I'm going to show you the show. NRTV to the world, the brand new and hottest television station in Zimbabwe. Enjoy your chapa eater. So don't follow it. Follow us right now to see the teaching and teaching on my social media handles. Pass it by the phone. NRTV, NRTV. Goes over land, goes over late. Hello there, it's your Lord King Russell coming to you from NRTV, the hottest television station in the nation, coming to you with amazing content. Follow us on our social media handles at NRTV. Hey, yo, what's up, what to do? Log on to your social media and check out NRTV. It's the newest station in town. The central business district has become jammed with traffic and crammed by vendors and that's contributed to a flight of corporates from the city. Now those tenants have been the traditional bread and butter of institutional commercial real estate developers. So how are they coping given the circumstances? And crucially, what do they see as the way forward to addressing the challenge? Welcome to The Focus. My name is Farai Mwakutuya. Join me as we delve deeper. sadness that we received a phone call this morning informing us that um, 
one of our students. But as God, I was in this cocoa and aunt. Who was that? I'm little, I stayed up. I got it! I'm a fan of the corner. I'm a top of the high boys high. I'm a top of the high boys What is this? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to the house. i to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. i a whole exam can teach you, my kind child. Be me, Bangaza, man, stay any time. I'm pulling out that tongue, so complete. I'm going to run, come, do you understand? So, I'm saying, Sana, I'm not a novel. Shame, my Bangaza, be. Be very careful. Imali, abai tata be pose manzi. Sadness that we received a phone call this morning informing us that um, one of our students. But as God, I mean, was in this cocoa and aunt. Who was that? I'm little, I stayed up. I got it! I'm a fan of the corner. I'm a top of the high boys high. I'm a daughter. Yes, sir. I'm a daughter. Yes, What is this? Let's get this. I'm a daughter. 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 i Mama says, Sessually, I think it is and Langas, <laughs> Bensefuli, Imtanas, or Machi Chong. A whole exam can teach you, my kind child. Be me, Bangaza, Manister, any temple, and put a lot of things to compete. Uncas and I'm come to the young sons of Sessana, Mutan of Lupi. Shame, Mother Sandy. Keba Villa Rapu. Imadi Abai Tata be Pose Manzi. Everyone, have you heard of the hottest new television station in Zimbabwe, NRTV? Catch us on all social media platforms at NRTV. Yeah, yeah, we could say, maga complain at Vatango, but I pin it up game with Tisuta and Ajush Murshajo. Another TV to the world, the brand new and hottest television station in Zimbabwe. Do it, Chapa Eater. Don't follow it. Follow us right now to the teaching and cheating up on my social media handles. Pass the paper on another TV, another TV. Goes over Nandi, goes over Leeds. Hello there, it's your Lord King Russell coming to you from NRTV, the hottest television station in the nation, coming to you with amazing content. Follow us on our social media handles at NRTV. Hey, yo, what's up, what to do? Log on to your social media and check out NRTV. It's the newest station in town. Ladies 
central business district has become jammed with traffic and crammed by vendors. And that's contributed to a flight of corporates from the city. Now, those tenants have been the traditional bread and butter of institutional commercial real estate developers. So how are they coping given the circumstances? And crucially, what do they see as the way forward to addressing the challenge? Welcome to The Focus. My name is Farai Mwakutuya. Join me as we delve deeper. Hello, kids. It is my job to take care of different animals, both big and small. Are you ready for the ride? NRTV, Papigita, Shibaba. NRTV, Channel 288, for DSTV, Mutakunanji. NRTV is your brand new hottest television station and we are eager to partner with you in taking your brand beyond your imagination. Our young and vibrant approach to the broadcasting game gives us the unique edge. With our wide-reaching platform on DSTV, we ensure that your adverts reach your desired audience and leave a lasting impression. With flexible packages, you are free to set the format and length of advertisement that suits your organization. It truly is advertising made easy. So don't let anything hold you back from getting your brand recognized. Contact the NRTV marketing team on our email, marketing at nrtv.tv. I'm Muchona to the fullest. Tripanopa Hot Springs. I'm going to go to the Rambai Muchona in RTV. Pa DSTV. Channel 288. The government is putting in money for the new youngsters to do more things so that our country can develop going forward. Uh, 
a bully. I was just a bully. Because in night already, I'm going to be such a thing. You know what mosquito does? You can go to my bones, you can go to your ECC. Friends, the cool border or rugby. Let us go on and what would people say? Why don't go not to go down and official just friends? And after that, you're like, think what you think. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Time Out with Yvonne. And as usual, we bring you a big sporting personality in Zimbabwe. Affirmation 
of loyalty. Please listen.